Well, uh, good morning, everybody. Well, it's morning here anyway at this time. Um, so I'm back on this guy. Got some parts in. Got a piston in from uh, uh, the only place I know that uh, sells aftermarket pistons for Homelite Super Easy still. Um, where did I put that? I could jigger all that. Yeah. There it is. Check this one out. You want to talk about new old stock? 52092. Eh, a little old. But, like everything else, it's made in the USA and uh, it's probably lasts forever. The only reason why this one died is because of. Someone's uh, someone being an idiot. So as you could doing the good old uh, push the the bearing out routine. And excuse me if I block you with my sausage fingers. And I'm battling a little bit of a cold, so it might sound a little more nasally than normal. Let's see if this works. Oops. Reset. She moved a little bit. Oh, she's coming. Oh. She's almost there. Oh. Oh. Push it right into my socket. <laughs> we'll see if I get this uh, out of the socket. Yeah, I couldn't get it out of the socket, so I guess I could just wait for another time and date when I'm not uh, recording. Uh, so, oh. Ready for the moment that some guys are going to get movement and some guys are going to go, Oh, you defiled it. Oh. 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 Yeah, right there. Oh, yeah. So. So, all right. For you guys at home, playing along, here's all the writing on the side of it. Yeah, I made an USA. Imagine that. Just give you guys, just trying to give you guys the best view possible. So, yeah, there you go. <clears throat> now, for all those guys that are saying I de defiled this, because, you know, it's a historical artifact, the thing about it is that this saw won't run without it. And pretty much this, this part is useless sitting on a shelf. It'll probably end up in the trash. I know I work for a company that had probably forty thousand dollars in old Onan parts that they couldn't even bother being thrown on the interweb. They took it and they just put it right in the dumpster. I mean, I kid you not. And I tried telling them, "Don't do it." It's too late. Yeah, and uh, Afterwards, after I went and left that day, I went right into the dumpster. And got a bunch of shit I did not need. Alright, let's see how, fuck, how good I could fuck her up good and proper.
Maybe I could press it in with a SD camp. I'll try that. Okay, got my Chinesium uh, C clamp. Um, get my uh, uh, portable de portable vise. Pick up tools I'm dropping. Do this, yo. Trying to say I'm not in a hurry, but I want to. I gotta get this done so I can go to work. I'm working on late shifts today. I hate hitting this with a uh, brake cleaner because it has wax in it to uh, um, hold all the needle bearings inside. I have like five more hands I can make this happen. That was a bit of a mother to push in. That was about a pucker factor six there. Even though the bearing was like, I don't know, 12 bucks. It's still, uh, it's like disconcerting to, it's like this could hold up my project for weeks. because I really need another super easy at my house. That's right, I left the, the bearing race in that one. <laughs> Try it. No, I can't do it. Can't do a sneaky peek with that one? Yeah. Let's try this. You know, this is the, probably the strongest uh, non-forged um, uh, bearing race I've ever ran into, in a, or I've ran into in a long time. This one's... Uh, Pretty beefcake from take, just taking this, be able to take this beating. Well, so I was gonna look at my lights. It's getting tiring. Yeah, I say she's home.
check with the cow poles. God. Someone's gonna clean this place up too. Three seventy six. Then close enough for for me. Okay, just like that. Suds are in. The um, reed cage is in. Intake manifold. And um, I don't know about you guys, but the C clips that come with the uh, the new pistons. I am not a big fan of. I mean, I've used them before. They seemed all right, but I prefer these uh, circle ones that don't have no ears on them. They just have a little. I feel. They just feel like they have a better bite. And uh, the reason why this is in a vise and not in my hand while I'm doing this is number one is a pain in the ass to get out. Number two, I would just stab myself in the finger. So, uh, yeah. I decided to go with, uh, I had to use uh, the ones that came with the packaging. They're actually not that bad. Um, they're actually pretty springy, so the other ones uh, got hot and they lost their springiness, so in the trash with them, but uh, yeah. Putting the piston rings on. They don't seem too bad. Grab it, grab it on my glove. One thing to remember, look for the pin and look for the notches in the ring. So if you don't, you're gonna have a bad day. Also, look at where the pins are in the old piston. Like these ones are on this side and that's on the opposite that's facing away from the intake so it's going to face these pins are going to face the flywheel on the saw let's get this on there and then i have to stop I hate having to stop in the middle of a project. Like damn stupid work. Mm -hmm. You see my belly in the photo. Like hot. So I'm trying to do this so you can see what the hell I'm doing. Keep my fingers out of the way because you don't want to see the money shot. Don't, don't care about me. There you go. And yeah, let's close off the bottom. I've heard something about you know some special education teacher uh, on some of the forums said, "Oh, you got to have those uh, little." Loop de loos facing up. It's like, hmm. They'll be fine. This saw is not that high a revving of a saw. It might break 8,000, 9,000 RPM. So, I gotta get my ass to work because this is certainly not paying the bills for me. 
See? I got a little boo-boo there. Anyways, you guys have a great day. Well, it's good to see you're back for more punishment. A little bit of lube, just to... Get her going for the first time and smoke like a Dickens. Ah! again. Do they have a bigger one? You always want to set the ring compressor a little bit low, like just enough to cover the both rings so that you have a little bit to guide you where the where you need to be. Okay, and I know that probably someone's going to about to uh, already sign down in the comments to do so, say something about this guy right here. Don't worry about that. It's uh, I'm going to take a little bit of silicone carne, seal that up because this just cover seals the air box. Nothing else. It, it seals against right here, so it's nothing too obviously wowy. Oh my god, the world's going to end. Assemble. Today I want to get this done. The crankcase, uh, some of dilly. I want to get the flywheel crankcase seal done. Pretty much get this bad boy back together so tomorrow morning first thing I can light it off. And since it's going to be just putting bolting down a cylinder, um, it's going to take like that. Okay, if you're playing at home, you're probably uh, wondering how the hell to get to this one screw. No, it's one bolt or nut, whatever. What the hell it is. Using one of these guys. I always want to stamp steel wrenches from Craftsman before they went to China. <clears throat> it's the only thing I found in my collection. You know, actually, I might have something else. It's 
So it has a little more girth to it. But it's just a really bad location for a bolt or any kind of fastener. You gotta treat it like you gotta treat it like you're uh, 11 years old and you're trying to figure out what the hell to do with it. So, you know I mean, that's what I've been doing, just kind of fussing with it, trying to make it work. So what I ended up doing was this old trick, just uh, ground one of my cheap wrenches flat. <clears throat> Sidebar note is if you look at it. It focuses. See how it was actually like punched like off center. It was not straight on the um, end of the wrench. Compliments of a cheapy wrench, but this is why you have them. So uh, got that baby bolted down. <clears throat> I cheated and used a couple washers down there because essentially you need that thing to seal. That's the uh, number one priority. And if it doesn't seal, then, you know, what the hell's the pro point of doing all this work? Well, my uh, cell phone slash camera died when I was pulling off the uh, flywheel. And uh, what I did was, I texted, I actually texted uh, my one of my buddies, uh, because I was going apeshit on this thing. And he said, just pull out the starter paws and put a flywheel puller. There are 10, uh, 10 32 screws right there. <coughs> Did that pop right off like a, I was going to shit out of me like I freaking broke the flywheel. But it's off. Um, putting the new seal in. Going to turn around the horn and go back the other way. Where did I put that? My specialized driving socket at. Didn't put it away. Mm, bollocks. Hey. Tip, tap, tip, tip. Trucker. There you go. Now I get to turn around and do it. Put everything fucking back together now. Tell you what, if you don't feel like a dumbass every once in a while, you're doing something wrong. For the last half an hour, I've been blabbing myself. Um, it might look like I did a lot, but I really did not. I did a lot of just boring, tedious work. Um, got the flywheel back on. Had a borrow a uh, nut from another saw that to go to the place my uh, hardware store tomorrow that probably most likely will have that um, put the paws back on put the rear handle back on put the lines in there and tighten it up um, my evil plan for this right here is I'm just going to push some silicone carne down in there and call her good it's just an air seal for the air box um, and then figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of the holes in here because there's a few holes in here that I'm kind of wondering about myself. Other than that, I'm tired. It's about, I don't know, 11 o'clock at night and I got to work. go to work tomorrow morning. You guys have a great night.
Well, tomorrow, or tomorrow is now today, and uh, today was, is now yesterday. So, um, got the clutch back on, and got the new coil, or the old coil, the infamous blue coil back in it. So, this is how the lean it was running. Focus. Yeah. That's um pretty lean. Just, so let me see if I can do, do a box of wrench on that bad boy. Make it easier on myself. Let's see what the carburetor holds. First, let's make sure we have a carb kit, which I think it's right here. Ooh, new duck bill. <clears throat> I think the home light Santa Claus was here. Get all rocks off the table. At least have a, a kind of a clean working environment. And they're pretty stiff. Let's see if this is the right one. Because you know I've never made that mistake before. Bingo. Mm -hmm. Trying to get find that up a little bit. Get into this oysters uh, love center. Not too bad. A little garbage on the screen. We have a new screen right there, so. See if my normal trick works. No, it does not.
This is just going to be a diaphragm swap. Nothing too exciting. Make sure I have the orientation right so it actually works. I know there are locating pins on this one. Oh well. Like always, this side, gasket first, then diaphragm. Because who really gives a shit about the atmospheric side of this? <laughs> that was like this. Let's get the throttle lever in there first. Put it through the gland. Hey, sometimes I don't even remember how the hell this shit goes together. It's like that, I think. <clears throat> Actually, I have a saw right here.
this guy. So it should be flat like this. If you're wondering, they don't make it easy for any of, the, any of this stuff. Also, there is a way to get the carb out without taking the handle apart, and I've done it before. Scalpel. See, it runs hop all. So I suppose it like that in there. Stick the pokey bit to the gland end. And no, it does not hurt to give her a wink before you do it. pause it right here so that you don't have to watch me tighten up the carb fighting with the fighting with the carb because the dirty little secret with these it's a uh, uh, 7 16 but like what I almost forgot Cute little brass cotton pin in it. So adorable. Goes from the outside. Hope you guys get get a nice view of the angle of dangle. Okay, now so there's enough shit in the way now. Now we can tighten this baby down. Stupid like a fox. You know, I think I'm going to get 
a certain asshole a set of these for. Chokes on. We're all latches on. It's been turned out. Uh, quarter, turn and a half on each side. finish so there she is complete um i just wanted to add a couple end remarks to it uh if you decided if you're new to like you know older saws like this guy like a super easy um you know be uh be prepared for the like you know the little finicky things it has like how this one has a blue coil and they're infamous for just dying for no apparent reason um, and you got to keep these things clean and you got to keep them tuned correctly. Um, again, it goes back to the operator sitting there always listening to their saw because if this saw starts running lean, it's done because it's just that it's that on the edge of being performance, but it's a fun saw to run. Hence the reason why now I have three. Um, yeah, in, I would say probably in not even a full tank of gas. I'll be sitting there tuning this thing constantly to get keep it right and uh, get it right, get it tuning so that's running like perfect. Um. So yeah, there you go. I gotta get my ass to work now because yeah, people like me have to work to get earn pesos because this whole thing right here is not paying the bills. Um. Uh, yeah, and uh, also I want to say I'm sorry for you know being so erratic with my uploads. The I've just had a you know I don't want to uh, just upload dog shit to my channel. I want to at least have some you know some good content coming into my channel instead of just you know there's some people out there that will just throw anything on their channel. Um, and it's something I want to take pride in throwing good content. So. I hope you guys have a great day and enjoy this.